Hey guys, it's me, Pants06, and today I want to talk about something that's on everybody's mind. Well, not everybody, it's just people that follow video games. And that's Nintendo. And what are Nintendo doing right now? What is coming? And um, you may have heard the news that the NX is coming out this March, and Zelda Wii U has been pushed back, and there's also an NX version of Zelda Wii U, which... I don't know what it's called at this point because it doesn't have a full title. Um, now, it's really cool because I think at this point, Nintendo has to refresh their, st their way they stand on things. And the one thing they're doing now, they are moving to mobile and they're taking it seriously. Um, I just hope they don't take it in the same route like Candy Crush and stuff. And you know there's going to be microtransactions. I believe in the latest Pokemon game on the iPhone, there's some microtransactions. Um, but Nintendo's done pretty well for the most part when it came to microtransactions. and um, They usually, whenever you release something, you usually release a full product. And these products are, like the games, they are the best games on any system right now. Mario Maker, um, that's just the name one. Um, and there's not that many. There's really not that many big games on the system. Uh, hardly had any third-party support, which I'm hoping that Nintendo has a system that's powerful enough to, you know, run run newer newer engines. And I'm hoping that third-party take Nintendo seriously because it's like this every generation. Nintendo ends up losing third-party support, and it's just up to them to come out with games that, you know, do good for the system. And Nintendo does do that pretty well. They've been able to sell Mario Kart 8. Uh, Super Smash Brothers and all these other games that's Nintendo licensed, and they've done well. They've done great for that for the install base of this system. I think it's great, um, but it just really really sucks because you know the Wii U came out. I, I consider it as a new system, and you know, I'm gonna have to buy another system, which I'm gonna have to do that with a PlayStation, and that PlayStation 4K or whatever they're calling it, Neo. Um, it makes me sad, though, because I'm just hoping the Wii U still gets some support. Or if you bought digital games, you can use them on the <laughs> NX. I'm hoping they do that because all my games are digital. If not, I'll be keeping my Wii U. Um, but I'm excited to see where Nintendo's going with the NX. I, I, we don't know much about it. There's been uh, fake uh, controllers like surfacing online. Uh, people don't know much about it, but there's also some people that's really excited, and they just can't open their mouths. And I, I'm hoping that this console um, brings Nintendo back in the forefront. Now, they're kicking ass with the Amiibos. We know that. They're really good at making toys and selling them. That's awesome. Uh, the 3DS is still kicking ass. Um, it's just the Wii U, man. I, I just don't understand why it didn't kick off with it, I was hoping it would. Um, they just released uh, the Zelda um, Twilight Princess HD remaster, and that's supposed to be amazing, which I haven't got it yet. Um, and it's one of the game systems that came out with backwards compatibility with the old Wii, Wii titles. I mean, I think as for a um, <coughs> system that had one of the most diverse libraries up until now, and Microsoft is the only other console that offers backwards compatibility via emulation. And, you know, you can say what you want. You say PlayStation 4 has backwards compatibility, but who are we kidding? You know, the PlayStation, what is it, PlayStation Now, where you can rent and stream your games, but you've already probably fucking paid for. Um, and I feel like Nintendo gets p picked on a lot in the industry. Um, you know, with, and same with Microsoft. It, like especially right now, when Sony does something, they're making you know they have almost 40 million consoles sold, and everybody's like, if Nintendo or Microsoft does something even better, they brush it off. Because I mean, in my opinion, and I'm not being a fanboy about this, if you take a look at the Xbox One or the Play or the Wii U, I mean, there's better games on those systems and. I think the Xbox One works better as a entertainment hub than the PlayStation 4, and there's just more things to play. I mean, when's the last good, awesome 
first party exclusive come out for the PlayStation 4. I'm waiting because I don't remember. I couldn't tell you. I mean, yeah, Bloodborne was great. The order was not so good. And the one thing I'm really looking forward to is Uncharted 4. Now, I recently got rid of the PlayStation 4 because, you know, I didn't have use for it, just collecting dust. So I'm going to pick one up whenever the VR comes out and see how that goes. But, I mean, I, I think I think Nintendo is going to come out and they're going to surprise every single one of us. Um, I don't think it's going to be the same case with the Wii U. I'm pretty sure they learned their lesson. And Nintendo is the only company that seems to innovate upon their console generations. They always have some kind of niche Something, something that might be gimmicky after a while. Uh, I mean, look how successful the Wii was. Um, every play, everybody played the Wii. Um, first, con first uh, handheld with dual screens. That again, touch screen and uh, dual screens goes to Nintendo, and they're still they're still selling these things like hotcakes. And their games, their first party lineup, they do great. Uh, most of them. Uh, Splatoon was a big hit. Um, I mean, you just can't deny it, but I'm just hoping Nintendo, once they come out with the NX or whatever the hell they're going to call it, I'm hoping it just brings Nintendo back. Because I hate to see one of my favorite companies that I grew up with, um, you know, f just go away. I, I don't want them to really be a third party, um, just go away like Sega did. I want Nintendo, I want Nintendo to continue making systems because... Nintendo comes out with things that are fun. When you think Nintendo, you automatically think fun. Just the same as if you think of Mickey Mouse, you automatically think Disney World. You know, that's how I feel. Whenever I sit down and play a Nintendo game with my friends, it's all about fun. It's not about serious. It might not have the greatest graphics in the world, but it's fun. It's a blast. And I'm just hoping Nintendo can continue doing this. Um, yeah, you know, it does bug me a little bit that they're concentrating a little bit on the mobile market, but at this point, you about have to. I mean, it has to happen at this point. Um, mobile's here. It's it's going to be a thing, and I see the same thing happening in VR. VR is going to be here. It's going to stay. And if <clears throat> these you know console manufacturers or companies want to continue being successful, they have to have something, have something that makes them different than anything else. Or people that, I mean, at that point you might as well just stick with PC. I'm sorry, I get a little tongue-tied there. Um, but I just think if you're going to have a console, um, you know, it has to have something that makes it different from everybody else's. And that's why I think Nintendo um, they're really great at that. They, they know how to make something fun. They know how things work. They try to get something people like. And sometimes they fail. The GameCube, it wasn't very successful. The N64, it was okay, but it got ultimately beat out by the PlayStation. The PlayStation kicks ass. And I love PlayStation. Don't get me wrong. You probably think of it, hey, you talk about PlayStation like it's terrible. It's not. I love the PlayStation. The PlayStation 2 is one of my favorite systems of all time. The PlayStation 3 was okay. It had some of my favorite games. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 4, um, Infamous 1 and 2, um, Uncharted. That's fine. And I play on all systems. I'm not picking on Sony. I'm not. I don't want it to. And, you know, <clears throat> I, I am confused about the mid-hardware -hard upgrade right now. And I, I do worry that it's going to separate, uh, make a divide within the gaming community. Um, because if you have all that extra power, why would you want to create two different versions of the game and ship it on one disc and one, perform, one version performs better than the other? The person that has the PlayStation 4K is, awful, is going to get the better experience. But these games are not going to be 4K resolution. These things are going to be upscaled. I mean, you're not going to have 4K textures. That's not going to happen. Not on a $300 console. It's it's hard to do it on an $800 PC. Um, and, you know, some PCs just can't do it. And 
you know, I, I'd like like to see it. I that'd be amazing. But if they're going to have something that's going to have 4K resolution textures and everything, that thing is not going to be three hundred dollars or four hundred. Um, the only th big benefit I could see it could be helping out with the um, uh, PlayStation VR, which that that would make a lot of sense. But you know, I do feel that there's going to be people that's going to be think, well, of course that fucker's got the better version than mine. Awesome, and I think Xbox is going to do the same thing. Um, but I'm thinking Nintendo. They have this. I think it's their time to shine. I think they're going to pick it up. They're coming. They're going to swing, and they're going to surprise us all. And I might be wrong. It might turn out to be a big pile of shit. I don't know. I definitely don't know. But I want Nintendo to be successful, and you should too. You should want them to be successful because. You know, that is really good for, you know, <laughs> the not, not economy, but uh, consumer, um, any, I can't even get the words out today. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with me. Um, it's good. It's good. Having companies compete to get you to buy their machine, that's only good for you. And I think Nintendo knows now its mistakes, and I think they're going to pick up, and it's going to be good. And I do apologize that um, I lost track a few times. I do that a lot, and I do apologize. But also, since we're here, I just want to go ahead and, again, go ahead and tell you guys, I'm working on a game store project right now. It's called Bits and Pieces. I actually changed the channel's name to Bits and Pieces. And what it is, it's a GoFundMe account. And now, all right, I know you're saying, okay, you lost me at GoFundMe. Give me a second, let me explain. You do not have to donate to this, but if you share it, I would be so happy. And if you do donate, I'd be happy too. Um, but what what bits and pieces is going to be? It's going to be a game store. It's going to be like card games, video games, you know, any type of game you want to play. Uh, we're going to try to have you know tournament days, movie nights, stuff like that. But the goal of the store not only is it to be successful and be something that I could run and make a living off of but it's also going to give a chance for me to give back to the community and also gamers as well and the, what I mean by that is um, I'm this is going to help out people that suffer with anxiety disorders like depression um, well anxiety abuse suicide stuff like that um, it's going to give a place for people to come in that need somebody to talk to and hang out with people that you know suffer from the same things. I know how it works because I myself am the same way. And the best thing to do is get help from somebody and just talking to them. Um, if you guys want to check it out, www.gofundme.com forward slash bits and pieces. Like I said, you do not have to donate. You do not have to give me any of your money. But if you share this on your social networking, I would definitely appreciate it. And again, I do apologize for the. Uh, rambling and <laughs> losing track. I'm actually really excited today. So, um, and I'll post the next video later. I've got a couple more I'm working on rendering. So, uh, guys, I love you so much. Thank you so much for being so supportive. And hopefully, this channel grows and kicks uh, start blasting off. So, I love you guys and see you again.